Currently, there's no specific preventative measure against COVID-19. Health experts do, however, advise that sticking to a healthy diet and exercising can boost your immune system. Talking to us about food that can help in this regard is Rieta Haramsa, a dietitian and spokesperson for the Association for Di Dietics uh, in South Africa. Very good morning to you, Rieta. Just, you know, before we get into the foods that we should be eating, I want you to just quickly explain to me the link between gut health and your boosting your immune system system. Hey, lovely. I think that's such an interesting field and something that not a lot of people have known actually before COVID happened. So if we know that 70% of our immunity actually resides in the gut, then it makes that much more sense why that's a way that we can actually modulate our immune system and support it. Um, currently, there's actually no specific way that we can boost it. One aspect that I always highlight is in autoimmune diseases is one that when the immune system is boost, which is what we actually don't want. So if we can just support it to a level that's healthy and that's able to protect against disease, that's what we actually want. And gut health is one of those avenues that can support it. So what vitamins and nutrition should we be looking for? So as far as possible, as varied as possible. And I know all dietitians sound like a broken record when we say a balanced diet, but the reason why we repeat it is because it's true. Um, so in terms of vitamins and, um, and minerals, etc., we always say try and focus on getting um, yeah, just a colorful. So we always say eat a rainbow, eat a colorful plate of, a plate of vegetables and fruit. Um, and in that way to know that you get more vitamins, the more colorful and the more radiant and colors of the rainbow that you include, the more well-balanced you know that it is. Mm. Because we know we can't rely on one specific vitamin, so we can't just say vitamin C or zinc or selenium. Yeah. But we know all of them make a part of a healthy diet. So try and be diverse and, and still eating the foods that you enjoy, but just ultimately a bit more varied. All right, so let's break it down. What foods should we be adding to our grocery list, especially now? We need it more than ever now. Definitely. So in that sense, I always, we know about the five a day, eating your five fruits and vegetables in a day. Um, so in, in that sense, trying to make sure that you get your fresh produce, that we also stock up on things like our legumes and our lentils, which is a very good protein replacement, so plant-based protein, which is also more economical because we know that that's also something to take into account. Um, and that's in something like nuts and seeds. We know the wonderful selenium that we're getting in. But don't leave the spices and the herbs um, to the one side and think that they don't count. We know, for instance, the curcumin and turmeric is something that's a wonderful anti-inflammatory, cooking with your ginger, with your garlic. Um, so in that sense, having flavorsome food, but know that we can't just rely on one ingredient. We're not going to eat two kilograms of garlic to get in and to, to try and boost our immunity. In that sense, a, a very diet would go a further way than that. All right, so we know what foods we should be eating, but I just want to divert the attention to, to supplements. Are there certain supplements that we simply can't go without? Or if we have a balanced diet and incorporate all these meals, is that enough? So a well-balanced diet does provide um, provide all the vitamins and the nutrients that we do need. However, especially in this time and with everyone trying to protect themselves, remember if you want to add your normal multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement, that's always a, a good go. Something like zinc would also be to make sure that that's included in your multivitamin. And then also remember amino acids. Our immune system, when we try, when we have to make that antibodies, we need amino acids. So it's also a good option to just make sure that you're getting in enough protein, or if you're taking a supplement, um, make sure that it does have those. Um, but the food first approach would always be what we would recommend. And then lastly, I'm just thinking like literally seeing the um, hand sanitizer on my table, that we remember that those preventative measures would be much better than just taking supplements, but not wearing our mask, not sanitizing our hands and washing our hands frequently with soap and water. So that definitely in conjunction would all give us the, the protection that we as I said, control the uncontrollables. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you very much, Rita. We appreciate the advice, dietitian Rita Haramsa.